Oh shit, it started. Hello everybody. <laughs> I clicked start recording and it didn't start and then like it took a second and it started. Anyways, hello everybody and welcome back to the um, Modded Gungeon series. I have to say, I'm pissed off because I recorded, I went to record, right, and I noticed my audio wasn't working, but I'd already recorded earlier in the day, so I went to go check that recording and turns out I'd recorded Risk Run 2 for an hour and there was no sound, both, vo both voice and and, um, both voice and game sound was just gone. So I was a bit sad about that. Um, and then I was like, okay, I fixed it now. Let's record some Gungeon. And then it's like the second floor of my game crashed and it wouldn't let me continue the run. So I had to restart again. So it's all just gone a bit fucking tits up, to be honest. But I wanted to play the Gunslinger. We're playing the Gunslinger. I, I, want, I wanted to use the machine to try and get some synergistic stuff. We got the Screecher, which... I don't actually know how that thing is with synergies. I feel like it's one of those guns that could potentially be really good with synergies. Just because normally really weak guns have some really strong synergies. But you never really know, do you? You never really know. So we are going to give it a go. Uh, we did start with a fortune cookie as well, which I don't remember what that does. Higher chance for, room drops, uh, for rooms to drop rewards upon clearing them. I don't know why that's an active, I'll be honest. Seems a, like seems like a very odd thing to be an active. Do I have to activate it in said room? So yeah, this thing, I don't know how good it's going to be. It seems to be doing a bit more damage than otherwise would. Maybe? It's hard to tell, to be honest. Uh, also, the fortune cookie does seem to be a, a room-based um, recharge rate, which is... An interesting thing in Gungeon, it's not something you see very often. I believe it's just a, correct me if I'm wrong on this modders, but I believe uh, it's actually just a toggle setting that was already in the game's code. It's not like something that modders added. The ability to charge things based on, um, based on room rather than damage, it's just like a toggle, that, that like an option that already existed, but like nothing in base, the base game used it, which obviously leads us to believe, if that's the case that is, that that was the initial way they were going to do it, like the Binding of Isaac. But then I I feel like they went with that a bit, it being based on damage because um, it kind of fits more for guns, I guess. Dealing damage to stuff, it kind of, it kind of fits the theme a little more, I guess. Oh god, I didn't see that guy up there. Tell you what, it is very warm in this room right now. We've got the heating on in the house because it's been very cold recently. And I, I tend not to try and put the heating on because, you know, money, expensive. But um, we put it on and it's a bit too warm. Why is it always? It's either too cold or too warm. It's so rarely just right. It's so rarely the exact temperature you want it to be. I've tried turning the heating down a little bit. Hasn't really fixed much, I'll be honest. Nice. I can't tell if the fortune cookie's working or not. Yeah, I still, I don't really get why it's inactive. It seems like it could just be a, a passive. I guess it's so you have to like use it and it doesn't work in every room or something. I don't know. It is what it is. Who's left? Just some shotgunny boys. Now that one died to the fire. Ooh, extra key. Don't know if I'm gonna, gonna go to the alt path floors here. I am not sure. I'll quickly go after this. Please be ammo. I'd like it if you were ammo. Oh, ho, ho. what in the shit? Um, what the hell's going on here? Is this the synergy? F Did I not have the synergy form to start with? I must not have done. This is definitely the synergy form. Okay, for one, it's firing triple shot. For two, it is doing a lot more damage now. Okay, this is interesting. Did not expect that, I will be honest. But now this thing kind of slaps. As I said, the weaker weapons always seem to have that extra bit of craziness with them. Got a Kershula as well, hello. Funky Bullets is kind of interesting. Um, the Dagger of the Angels is also quite nice. I think I'm just going to take Funky Bullets and carry on with our day. Nice bit of cares for us there. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't think this, this thing is going to shred the boss, but this thing should do pretty well, especially if we can hit all three beams. 
Are they, do they normally bounce? I think they normally bounce. I think I'm going crazy. I was like, ooh, are they bounce now? But I'm pretty sure they normally bounce. This thing's way more ammo efficient now, definitely. If I had two missiles, a, t a whole total of two. Nice one. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of shredded him. This is going to be a good weapon for us here. Uh, got ourselves an extra key. We got ourselves Wrench, which does have a synergy that makes it red. Interesting. It's firing error text now, I think. I can't exactly see what any of that says, I'll be honest. Um, there's a key here as well. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Honestly, let's take a let's take a key, and then let's just go to the next floor. Ah, uh, I'll open one brown chest. Yeah, very happy with that. Very happy with that indeed. Other one, I'm not so not so caring for. I'll try and look for my secret room here. Just because this thing's going to easily find it. It's kind of beautiful, the patterns this thing makes. And yeah, I'm going to go to the alt path. Um, don't know where my secret room is. I'm not quite sure. Let's just do a blank in here. Nah, didn't find it. Right. Let's see if we can actually manage to keep our uh, thingies alive. Funky Bullets is the thing that's adding bounce, by the way. Oh, wait, yeah. I was saying that earlier about the synergy adding bounce. It's obviously Funky Bullets is adding the bounce. Idiot. No, I blew up the thing. God damn it. It's okay. We, we, we have options. We have options. Don't worry about it. Right. We do this. We do that. And then we go. Easy. Easy breezy. I'm going to completely forget to use the fortune cookie. It's going to just stay in my inventory forever and I'm never going to actually make anything of it. Right, let me, let me read the wrench and see if I can suss out if it does anything other than just fires words. While appearing unremarkable, this wonky wrench is actually an artifact of great power responsible for the terror um, in the dimension curtain, dimensional curtain through which new strange artifacts migrate to the Gunshun to this very day. Grow stronger for each exotic artifact in your possession. I would imagine that is every single modded item or gun that you have, it gains damage. I'm pretty sure Nevernim told me about this before. I'm pretty sure that is exactly what it does. I'm not sure what the red synergy version does. Um, it might just gain a, a, a bigger damage up. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Sounds like some good shit for us. Sounds like some good shit. Right, this is the floor that we crashed on last time, so let's hope it doesn't crash again. It was when I, t I tabbed out to, like, Google an item description. Not gonna do that again. Okay, so right now the wrench is honestly not super useful, but later in the run, it will probably go hard. It'll probably be a weapon that we use a lot later in the run. Because once we've got a lot of uh, modded stuff under our belt, I imagine it is going to slap us quite hard. And the uh, the fortune cookie actually worked out for us there. Lovely. And this thing's doing a good job. Honestly, that lichy trigger finger as well just adds to the crazy fire rate this thing has. Which is rather nice. The one way for that room. Okay. We do have three chests to open on this floor. We've got the Eye of Stern. D tier, unfortunately, so not super enthused by that. The Eye of Stern. Interesting. Every door is a gamble. I'm not quite sure what the fortunes mean, if they, if they mean anything. Does every door as a gamble mean I'm going to get a key? Or is that just a random bit of flavor text like Fortune Cookie from Isaac? I'm imagining that's exactly what it is. For some random bit of flare text. We got Gorgon's Gazed. Damn. Damn. 
Ow. Did I have armor? I'm guessing I just lost some armor. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure what just happened. I love that, that with the veteran guys. They, they shoot where they think you're going, so you can actually kind of trick them. Oh, like this thing is just slapping. I'm getting hit quite a bit, but that's neither here nor there. Don't worry about that. I would like to get a little bit of ammo for it before the boss, if plausible. Okay, there's a champion boy. I, don't, I can't remember what the green one does. I love the fact that we have two types of champions now as well. The green one's the healing boy. I, I'm guessing that just heals the enemies. I'm not sure if it does anything to me. I haven't figured it out if it does. Right, so we're getting a lot of random room drops of just, like, money, which is pretty good for us, to be honest. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely going to run out of ammo with this thing before we find any, I think. Probably even in this room, maybe. God damn, I just stopped getting hit. I'm getting hit so much right now for no reason. Like that. Oh, I forgot he fired three times. More fool me, I guess. And then we got... Whatever this thing is. Afflicts enemies with Blast Blight. Afflicted enemies will explode on... Okay. Interesting. I think it recharges on damage. It seems interesting. Okay, this thing's doing an okay bit of damage now. Nice. Oh... Okay, it doesn't take long to recharge. That's good. I think our other chest room is behind this locked door. I know that can happen. Explode, my good fella. It's been... It's been longer than three seconds. Afflicts enemies, afflicts enemies with Blast Blight. Afflicts enemies will explode after three instances of damage. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Which is actually pretty good with this creature. I thought it was after three seconds. Okay, that's pretty decent. I'm not sure how useful that'll end up being, but... We can keep it on our secondary slot and just see... Okay, I managed to knock all those snipers off. I do apologize that I keep, like... Messing up here. I've honestly, for some reason, just got the itchiest nose on the planet. It's pissing me off. So every time I record, nose doesn't itch all day. Start recording, and it's like, hey, it's not be funny. If you just had to take one hand off your controller all the time, constantly. Lol. This thing's already pretty strong. I can't imagine what it's going to be like later in the run. Right. More room drops. Good, good. Okay, I'm going to have to pause one sec. Right, I'm back. If my nose itches again, I'm going to chop the fucking thing off. It's pissing me right off. I'm not in the mood for it today. I'm not in the mood for it, nose. Don't disrespect me or disobey me. I command thee to not itch. Yeah, it does seem like our other chest room is locked behind this door, which is kind of upsetting. Ooh, synergy chest, though, which arguably doesn't really matter unless we get a passive. And we get the Lord's Son Do you know what? Not having that. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Lord's Stone Amulet? No thanks. That item is an item that will literally not get any use the entire run. You watch me die to falling in a pit now, but still. I want some fun. 
Yeah, our, our last chest is behind this door, which is just... That just annoys me. We did get ammo. I'm going to take that for my screecher, which is a weird thing. Didn't think I'd be saying that, but there you go. Weirdly, I had to reload it after buying the ammo. Um... Okay, I thought I had more projectiles then. Dude. You hit me. Oh, I'm still on fire. How am I still on fire? Oh. Queen bitch, stop. You're such a big her. almost dead though. We got her. Wow, she was not easy. We got ourselves the suck cannon. I'll try and remember to use this, but I'll be honest, there isn't a high chance. Right. Away we go. Sadly missed out on a chest, but it is what it is. It really annoys me that the chest can generate behind that room and have a locked door. It's like, just unfair. And to be honest, I I'm not a fan of the fact that that crest room can even generate with a lock. Personally, I don't think it should ever generate with a lock. I realise that the one in the oubliette can also, but I also don't like that either. <laughs> G generally, I, I really think that the idea of anything being locked behind a door, shrines, Winchester's game, map man, just do, do away with it all. Once they got rid of lock shops, I'm just, I don't want locks on anything. It's just there's not enough keys in this game to make that a thing. Extra health. Right, if we see um, blobbies, make sure we get out the vacuum. Make sure we actually have it selected first. Good idea. Wait, do you count? Oh wait, it doesn't swap to it unless it has ammo. You do count. Good. Nice. Extra key, lovely. Good, good, good. But yeah, I want to try and get the ammo on that thing up to a decent level before we start using it. Like up to at least like sort of 400-ish. It's also just nice that on the earlier floors here, we're going to see more of those enemies. And they can be literally insta-killed and turned to ammo for a pretty good gun. Good stuff, I like it. Like, a lot of rooms on these floors have the Blobby Boys, so we can make good use. Forty-two. Why is this room say forty-two in it? Oh, I wasted a key, but you at least you didn't hit me. Demon Head. Don't know how good you are in synergy, but I'll use you for a little bit. I'll use you for a little bit. I'm sure you've got some decent synergies in there somewhere. Can't believe I wasted a key on that bad boy. Should always check my mimics, but I never do. So yeah, seems seems pretty good with synergies. Honestly, it seems pretty good. Give me that suck. We got Gun Muncher. <sighs> nah, Gun Muncher. If I could trade away the, 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 the sack, I probably would, but just couldn't have any synergies. Um, Death Warrant. It's a reticle that locks into enemies. Increased damage dealt to that enemy. The reticle achieves new target. It's a pretty interesting item, actually. I'm going to buy that. Quite fun. The Pop Gun as well. Um... It does have one synergy, the Soda Pop. I'm not. I'm not sure if I want to buy that though. Nice. This isn't a mimic, and we get ourselves this Key of Love. Turns hearts into keys, allowing you to use your life in place of keys if you've run out of keys. Pretty good. 
pretty useful indeed. Right, I'll probably just use this thing, to be honest. I reckon this will blast the boss. And also, we've got this marked thing, which is pretty good on bosses because it's regularly, regularly, regularly going to just hit the boss straight away. I don't know what's going on with the beam, I'll be honest. I think it's something to do with uh, funky bullets and the way it bounces. But it's still dealing damage as it should be, so I don't really have to worry. Oh, that was such a bad hit. I was watching the, uh, the eye of the hole still little friend spawn in. And just didn't pay attention to the shot that had been fired directly at me. But we don't exactly need the HP, it's fine. Oh, we get pig. What up, fella? I'm just going to waste the rest of the ammo. Just so I know that it's empty. Come on, pig. Let's go. Come on now, pig. To the next floor. To the next floor we go. Still, Screecher is like our number one room clearer right now, which is... Something I never thought I'd hear myself say, but then again, I've never had this creature on a gunslinger run, I don't think. And also, I don't know if any of the synergies we have for this creature are modded here. I don't think that's how that works. I think ch making changes to the base guns via synergies is something that modders don't really do, because it's either not really possible or it's a big ball here. So, I, do I doubt we're going to see much of that, but... Oh, wait. I did get hit for that, but it's fine. Conserve ammo. No room drop. Damn it, this thing doesn't quite have the range. Okay, we should get quite a lot more blobs on this floor, and then we can actually start using the blob gun on the next floor. Ooh, I like the way the, uh, the reticle, like, phases behind like that. It's cool looking. We're a little bit low on HP right now. Not, like, terribly so, and we do have the pig, so... We don't have to worry so much. Do not like the idea of this. Although I understand it. Yeah, no. We should have run through. I said I understood it. I actually don't. Um. Turns hearts into keys, allowing you to use your life in place of keys if you've run out of keys. I picked up a key on the floor. Where did it go? If you've run out of keys is what it says. It's Where, where, the, where the fuck's my key? What happened there? That's not how that is described. That's not how that works. In the description, at least. Unless I've completely misunderstood something, but I don't think that's the case. Okay, key boy, you're in a kind of annoying position, but we got you. Hello there, sir. Okay. Where's my health gone? I didn't get hit. Where has my health gone? I picked up a key and it took away my HP. Dropping you. Don't like it. <laughs> Don't, I might. It might just be that I am. That I. Oh my god, this weapon's amazing with synergies. Holy hell. It might just be that I am, like, wholeheartedly misunderstanding how that works. But it seems to have taken away my keys and taken away my health, which I do not like. I should have, like, four keys and almost full HP right now. That is not what we have. Very devastating to me. Also, yeah, we need to buy that ammo if we can. 
Yeah, I don't know if that item's broken or I just misunderstand it, but it says, like, use keys as hearts if you've run out of keys, which implies that you can use keys as normal, you can pick up keys as normal, but then if you don't have any keys, you can then use your hearts. That's what that implies to me, but that is not what it was doing. Unless there's something even deeper that I'm not understanding. Oh, there's some ammo. Lovely. Got the screech up. Again, locked door on, on the Mac Man. No thanks. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, no, no, no. Give me the suck. Thank you. Secret room's right there. Lovely. Oh, it's this guy as well. Tractor beam. Wait a minute. Let me drop this a minute and just see what the synergies are. It's got two synergies. Oh, wait. No, this isn't the tractor beam. Um, I think I'm going to use this thing. I'm, I'm fully powering him. There you go. I'm going to give him full power. Ooh, it's firing all sorts of boys. It's firing like different flavors of blobs. And it's doing different elemental effects. Okay, this thing with synergies fucking slaps. Obviously, I'm imagining it has quite a few synergies that are leading to these effects, but this is incredible. It just destroyed that guy, and it's got quite a lot of ammo left, too. I'm loving this gun. Also, hell yes. Um, ammo for this. Ammo for this. Chest that gives me... Interesting. A short circuit. Also, whatever this is, the real gun. Two very cool weapons. Sadly, neither have synergies. This seems seems really good though. I will try this out because it's a red chest thing. Hey, the Tangler. Tangler's pretty damn good. It's pretty solid. And then we got the dragon thingy, which I think is on hit. We drop a pool of fire or on enemy kill or something. I can't remember. Let's try out... Um... Oh, wait. The Tangler gives us a stat up and we're holding it. Nice. Okay. Let's... Let's try out this thing first. Actually, no, no, no. Let's try out this thing first. Okay, so far it's done nothing. I'm guessing I have to then hit the ball with the uh Nope, I don't know. Right, let me let me try doing this. Okay, I, I don't know. It, it destroys shots, that's good. Overall though, doesn't seem A tier thus far. This thing, however, this thing seems sick. This is very fun to use. I just wish I had synergies. Oh god, what is going on over there? It's that, that, that little ball of fear is starting to like my game. Oh no, it's, it's chilled out now. Okay, this is awesome. Really cool weapon here. Gotta say, really cool weapon. Definitely burns for ammo, but that's because we're fighting a boss, I guess. Damn, another thing without any synergies. Big oof. Okay, let's try let's try out this thing for a little bit, and I think we swap back to the uh, vacuum gun. Right, let's go. We're on a good one. We're on a good one indeed. Taking a little long time to load, though. Yeah, Vacuum Gun might be one of the best synergy weapons modded that I've had thus far. 
It seems to be doing multiple things. I'm not sure how many... I, I should probably drop it and see how many synergies it has, but I'm slightly scared that if I drop it to see how many synergies it has, it'll, like, like take off the ammo for some reason. It'll, like, not register the ammo that I've got for it. Okay, this thing's just fully auto. Right, let's, let's see if I can see in here, maybe. Oh, yeah, it has, it has quite a few. That is why. It has quite a few. You, you don't suck, do you? No. Nice. Yeah, this thing's okay, but compared to the other stuff that we have, it's, it's not amazing. I don't know why I let that guy suck up my projectiles. Though. That was a very scary incident. Yeah, I think I'm going to swap to something else for now. Uh, let's go with this, and then... Maybe the Tangler? The Tangler is so solid. <gasps> Suck. I wonder if I get more ammo for him being jammed. Extra key. <laughs> Shooting these guys makes them look really weird when they die. Also, it makes that guy almost invisible. Ooh. Yes. Hot lead, lovely. Got a little bit of hot lead. Oh, this room didn't have a second wave for some reason. This room normally has a second wave. It's a good room for us. Three easy sucks. Up to 900 ammo. We might as well just start using this thing. We've got so much ammo for it now. Spread the elements everywhere. It's so ammo efficient as well. Okay, that's it, good. There is a blank somewhere in here. I literally don't care. Okay, I accidentally walked into it. It's fine. I was going to say, I'm not looking for that thing, but luckily we didn't have to. Oh my god, this thing is so cool. I bet I bet never has been waiting forever to someone to get this on a lich run. Or out of that, I already hadn't even thought of the fact about it being a lich run. And is now amazed by what it looks like. Right. Don't want to do this room. Not that asked. Don't need the rewards. I say I don't need the rewards. There isn't really that many rewards anyways for it. And it transforms your shop into something that I can't spend my money on. And I'd rather spend my money. I don't actually know how it works in the forge. It might not do that on the forge. But either way, I'm not going to find out. It's very, very cool. But... It ain't my jam right now. Same with the, bl the the blue holes just haven't really been my jam for a while now. They're, they're really really interesting, but they just they need more variety in my opinion. I realise that Bunny is working on a whole host of other things, and as I've said before, the only reason I'm saying that is because um, I've been playing with the mod for a while, so most players haven't played it for as long as I have, and therefore things will be fresher for them. But for me, I obviously kind of seen everything now. Okay, we've managed to... Uh, I thought we'd gone over the amount of maximum ammo. No, this thing has a 10,000 potential mag. I didn't realize that. I thought it went up to 1,000. Ooh, that's pretty nice with the amount of blanks we're on, right? It's good stuff. I like that a lot. <sighs> Lovely. Extra chest. Egg salad. Extra HP. And then I guess just buy a key. The plunger does have synergies, but I just don't care about them. Like, look at, look at how much it's just absolutely demolishing this boss. 
We started at like 1072 ammo. I could probably fire this a little bit slower as well because I'm hitting DPS gas. Like less than a hundred ammo. <laughs> With the synergies, this thing is broken good. This thing looks cool. Again though, no synergies. Big sad. Still a cool weapon regardless. Synergies are difficult because there are a lot of effort for stuff that not everyone's going to see. But at the same time, it's it's it's, it's weird. It, it's kind of just how it is in roguelikes. You put a lot of effort into synergies in Gungeon and then there's a potential that people never come across them. But at the same time, on runs like Gunslinger or when you do get the synergy, it's just such a good feeling. Um, it's a real shame when you pick up a gun and you're like, ah, no synergies. But on regular runs, you don't really have that. So it's, it's, it's definitely a toss-up. I don't expect every mod to go out of their way to add like two or three synergies to every single gun they make. There's going to be ones that don't have any. Um, which is kind of the nature of modding. There's only so much time. And also there's the other thing as well as like, you have to have decent ideas for those synergies. But then you also have to um, like have the want to carry on working on that weapon. A lot of the time, I imagine in Gungeon modding, especially from what I've heard from Never Named, one of the reasons things don't get synergies is because you finish a gun, you're really proud of it, it comes out great, but then you've been working on it for a bit, so you're kind of like, eh, I don't really want to look at that thing anymore, let's go on to my next cool idea, and you go on to the next cool idea, and it, it's, it just means you're jumping from new idea to new idea, making new guns and new items, um, or new things entirely, like Bunny does, um, but then adding synergies is kind of put on the back burner, um, unless there's some really, really obvious ones that are super easy to make, like status effects and stuff. Um, but there's some of the some of the more integrated and sort of interesting synergies, them ones can obviously be a bit more involved. I mean, like, it's not really a synergy as such, but like Lead of Life that uh, that, that Never Named has made, which is an item that what every single bullet modifier in his mod and in the default game gives you a companion that does things based on it, which is really fucking cool. But god damn, is it just so much work for a single item. An item that I've literally never come across in a real run. Like, it's it's just one of those things. You put in so much effort into these things, which is, like, on your own terms, like, in your own sort of gratification of what you can create, it's great. But one of the highlights of modding, from, my, from what I'd see, is seeing people... Use your, sh use your shit and hearing hearing about people find your items finding your items that's what I say um, and when your item just never gets seen you put a ton of effort into it it can be a bit like ah but then again at the same time it kind of adds like suspense like I've, just, I've had like um, Ski from Knife to a Gunfight and a few other people say like oh you saw this item in the shop you should have bought it it's so cool and then I don't see it again for weeks when I, then when I finally do see it I'm like holy shit this thing's so good <laughs> And it's kind of like that delayed gratification. It's definitely an interesting thing. Anyways, we always have like a nice long chat in between the loading zones on air, uh, going into floor five. Holy shit, that enemy gave me so much ammo. <laughs> like, I think regularly without the synergies, that wouldn't be that big of a deal. But when I've got the synergies like I do right now, that's actually crazy. Armor, lovely. Mini boss. Oh, this thing's gonna absolutely slap this guy. I don't really know how to dodge that laser beam attack, I'll be honest. There you go, he's dead though. Um, I don't really need the ammo right now. We've also got a shrine back here. Oh, whoa, whoa, sweet shrine of mine. Oh, hello there. Give an eye for knowledge. Accuracy down. And it gave me damage up, I think that was. Uh, I think that's basically just the eye patch, the item, but as a shrine, which is pretty cool. I'm down for that. I don't really need accuracy right now, so I have no qualm. Oh, God. Don't you hate it when there's, like, no teleporter between rooms? Do you know what would be an interesting mod? I, it's not necessary. But, um, 
mini boss rooms rather than like adding teleporters to them. You could just have it so that when the boss is killed, it just spawns a teleporter. I don't know if that's possible. Or you could just add them to the room. I don't know. Either way, it'd be, it would be good. We've got so many keys right now. Like, it's just crazy that I've done this many rooms exclusively using this gun. And so far on this floor, I have gained ammo. And I've only sucked up like two things. I don't know if I managed to get that guy or not. I was a bit late. Oh, for God's sake. This thing has uh, some synergies. The dual loader, Lone Star. I guess I'll give it a go. It seems decently good. It seems to be setting enemies on fire when I hit them too, but that could just be hot lead actually. Thinking about it. Oh, there's some stars that we that we saw about before. Nah, I can't I can't put this thing down. I know it's like, oh, trick shot. Isn't that like plus five bounces? It's gonna be wicked with this game. So now all the shots afterwards just bounce around forever. Nice. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is so good. Easy room. Next, uh, these guys. I remember. And an extra blank, which is actually just extra HP. We got full metal jacket. I see you this time, you shit. Uh, it's unfortunately a little bit late for that. I'm not even going to bother picking it up. Give me that diamond. Thank you, thank you. That give us a little bit more, a little bit more goobers to suck up before the boss. This isn't goobers to suck up at all. Trash bag. Get my little raccoon buddy. I just like it for the pet raccoon. I don't really care about what it actually does, but having a pet raccoon's great. Look at him go. He's so chunky. Raccoon and pig. Best friends forever. Thank you for the junk. Found the shop finally. Um, some interesting stuff. I think we're just going to skip out and go and pay for this woman there. And then be on our way. What do you have for me? Helix is pretty good with synergies if I remember correctly. Also, Aura Bullets. Hell yes. Also, we got a synergy with Aura Bullets. Okay, it's just a hot aura. Okay. If the, if the shots split into shots that have auras, this is going to do so much damage. Oh, it does. Okay. This is over. Also, there's so many, like, fire particles everywhere, it's hard to see. Yeah, you're not surviving, Skulls. I'm sorry. This is quite beautiful. <laughs> uh, bullet Hell's gonna get completely wrecked. I want to do Bullet Hell this time because I want to see if a Roboros levels up. We're still on level zero. Unless you can get to level one.
Yeah, the trick shot making everything bounce a few more times is pretty awesome. All we need now is piercing and this will be perfect. Right, good stuff. Hey, that was a flawless as well. I didn't realize. Right, to the next floor. I, honestly, I think we can probably use this gun the entire way and probably gain ammo. There's quite a lot of blobs in bullet hell. I reckon we can use this thing the entire way and we'll still have ammo left when it comes to... We'll still have more ammo than we started when it comes to fighting the actual boss. Because it's just so incredibly ammo efficient. I, I always feel bad on runs like this because, like, I like to showcase, like, all the guns I get. And especially on a gunslinger run, I want to showcase more stuff. But when you get a synergy that's, like, this fun... It's hard to put the gun down. And to be fair, I think I've given everything else like a fair shot. Um, I think we've got some other interesting things, but nothing like this. Right. I basically need to do a, 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 like a small assessment whenever I walk into a room to see if there's any blobs. And then I can dip. Oh my god, the, the hot lead shots like firing the little embers there. Nice. Good, good. And you. Luckily, I'm immune to fire. Anything still alive? It was for a little bit, but it's gone now. Something drops in this room. I have no idea what. What is it? What drops in this room? There's something on the mini map. I literally have no idea what it is. I guess it gets some junk, maybe? Oh, there it is. Yeah, some junk. One of the boys, lovely. Okay, that, that guy's sucking up a lot of my shots. Got to be careful for him once he's uh, once the room's over. Yeah, there's quite a few shots coming out of you. Whoopsie. No, I tried, friend. I'm sorry. Holy shit, those guys are worth a lot. Up to 1,600 ammo now. Hello, friend. Yeah. Not long for this world, are we? Lovely. <laughs> I curse thee. Do you now? Oh, do you now? Got a black chest for that guy. Ah, oh, Okay, cool weapon. Unfortunately, no synergies. Uh, what mod is this from? Ah, okay. I'll have to mention that's an Evernim because we've been looking through his items to know which ones have synergies and which ones don't. I'll try this thing out because it seems cool, but it's not going to be anywhere near as good as our crazy gun. Am I on fire? I think I might be on fire then. I mean, this thing's still doing a number, but having aura tiers plus the... Um, Plus the, all the bounces we have. Doesn't matter what we have, really. It's all going to fucking destroy. Up to 1,800 ammo. I knew this was going to be crazy. It's a gun that sneezes. Interesting. It's called the ak -Chu. I like it.
Sadly, no synergy though. Hmm. Most enemies, I don't even know if they're there or not. They just perish. We don't even get to find out. <gasps> Gimme! This is a blob room. Hell yes. <laughs> 2,400 ammo. We literally doubled the amount of ammo. We doubled it. What did I say? Now, this guy has boss armor, so he's going to take a bit of time, but we've got so much health that I literally don't even care. By the way, the bitrate on YouTube is going to be fucking dead on this video. I apologize. So the bitrate is going to be fucking dying, I bet. Try the debug console, man. I'm okay. Right, how fast can I fire this thing? Let's just. I've not actually tried firing it at the highest speed I can. Is it fully auto? I don't even know. Okay, it is fully auto. Even at full auto, it's still really ammo efficient. For, for what it can do right now, that is. Which is quite a lot. Beautiful. Last phase, here we go. This has been truly something. Something special. Okay, the bounces aren't going to be nearly as important on this stage because the walls are so far away. I think I care about you hitting me. Really don't care. <laughs> there you go. Well, that was an amazing victory. And yeah, the vacuum gun, quite good. Quite good. Oh, we also unlocked the arm warm. Uh, arm warmer? Arm warmer. I'm guessing that's for uh, progressing our Robert Ross level. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was very, very fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.